Well, Dakota Johnson is back on the big screen in the high note, a drama set within the glamorous American music industry. It's one of the first major Hollywood films to open in cinemas since the pandemic. So, has it all been worth the wait? Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabber Davis joins us now. Morning, Jabs. I saw that the film also stars Diana Ross's daughter, Tracy Ellis Ross. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. This is uh, a movie that I've had the pleasure of watching with my amazing wife, Mel, who works in the music business, and it took a little while for the film to get going. Tracy Ellis Ross stars as Grace Davis. She's a soul singer with a long career. She hasn't had a new album in 10 years. They've put out a Greatest Hits album. They've put out a live album. Her manager is Jack, played by Ice Cube. He wants to play it safe. Uh, but she has a personal assistant, Maggie, played by Dakota Johnson. And uh, Maggie has all these dreams of being a, a serious record producer, not just an assistant. And the film is basically centred around how she's trying to convince Grace to uh, record some new music. Um, once it gets going, it's actually a, a really beautiful kind of modern fantasy Cinderella tale. Let's take a look at the high note. The band is coming over for the party at 5-ish, and tomorrow we leave at 9.30 wheels up for New York. I was wondering... Do I have a rehearsal tomorrow? Dan was asking if perhaps you would want to rehearse at his house instead of yours. I said to his assistant that that probably would not. How many Grammys do I have? 11. Uh-huh. And how many Grammys does Dan have? Eight. Not 11. No. That's eight. That's very fewer than me. Mm -hmm. A lot fewer. <laughs> A lot of laughs, a lot of heart in this one. In real life, uh, Diana Ross actually has zero Grammys from 12 nominations. The high note hits the right notes. Three and a half stars for this one. Uh, definitely a time for all the Australian women who can get to a cinema to see that and see the Broken Hearts Gallery after we've had the Russell Crowe films and whatnot. Something uh, in limited release. Um, it is going to be in cinemas for one week before it heads to Netflix. Is a stunning new documentary about the life of Sir David Attenborough, the most acclaimed naturalist of our time. It makes you think of the wonderful Irwin family here in Australia. We need more wildlife warriors championing nature and how we can work with it. Let's take a look at a life on our planet. I am David Attenborough and I am 93. I've had the most extraordinary life. It's only now that I appreciate how extraordinary. The living world is a unique and spectacular marvel. Yet the way we humans live on Earth is sending it into a decline. Human beings have overrun the world. An extraordinary film, incredible pictures, and a very powerful burning message. A gripping and essential doco. Four stars for this one. It is on the big screen for one week, and then it heads to Netflix. So lots of options for you this week. Can't wait oh, to see that They one. both look good. Yeah. I love it when you've got two good ones. Bit of China, you know, bit of this, bit of that, yeah. bit of yin, bit of yang. <laughs> That'll great. All right. Wonderful Thanks, as always, Jabs. Thank you.